Virgos, welcome back to another video, my lovies. What's going on, my king and queen of coins, my sisters and brothers? Happy birthday! It's Virgo season, and I I cannot believe I forgot to say that this morning, but happy birthday, all my Virgos! And yesterday, happy belated birthday. I had a couple of people in the comments that are ex that are having their birthdays, guys, and I see you showing love like we do. Okay. So Virgos, happy birthday to each and everyone who is celebrating a birthday. It's Virgo season, baby. And we already got some type of offer coming, okay? It might be an early birthday gift. Let's tap in. I'm here to do an energy check. We already did your reading earlier. Um, that's where your prayer is. So I'm just going to say something quick and go ahead and dive into your messages, Virgo. These videos do resonate with Virgo sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node. And all who are drawn to the energy and to the messages you do not have to be a virgo to enjoy this channel all of welcome okay and thank you all for your loving comments all your well wishes supporting me making sure that um you guys love on each other in the comments i really really appreciate all you guys are doing for our channel and how our channel is growing so please continue to share like and subscribe make sure that you hit your notification bell so you won't miss a video all right virgo let's dive in let's dive in all right, Spirit, thank you so much for keeping us under your divine hand of protection. Thank you for each and every person that you send to view my videos, to be enjoying my healing energy and my positive vibes and your divine messages. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a vessel, a channel of love and light for the Virgos and all the masses and whoever is drawn to these videos. We appreciate all you do in the divine realm, seen and unseen. Thank you for helping me with truth, clarity, and spiritual guidance. Amen. Amen. And amen. <laughs> Y'all thought I was going to sing at that time. No, I'm trying to be quick. Okay. All right, Spirit. Thank you so much for giving me clear messages for the Virgo. Show us what's going on in Virgo's energy and what is coming toward the Virgo. Show us clear messages, Spirit. What's coming towards my Virgos and my collective. All right. So we have you here, Virgo. Um, knowing your self-worth and setting your expectations high, um, making sure that you are honoring what you deserve and um, setting your intentions toward um, what fits you, something that suits you, meaning I'm just getting the energy of you're not settling for less. I feel like you have been working on yourself and it's hard work. It has been hard work to get to the level where you are, you know, even if you aren't where you want to be. You know, it, you bust your ass to get here. So it's just like you're not willing to accept less. You're not willing to accept people that's not hard workers and determined and focused like you are. You're not willing to accept this toxic energy that keeps trying to come into your life and make you stagnant and stuck. You know, you're just not doing it. I'm without spirit. Thank you. Yeah. You had enough of suffering with lack and doubts. You know, you could have been doubting yourself for a long time. Um, settling for less and dealing with lack, always having a situation that was lacking something and you just going with the flow in hopes that things will be um, kind of what you dreamed and what you envisioned for you and this person. Actually, for a lot of you, it's what they promised and they didn't fulfill it. All right. So you're over that. Like you're not trying to be in that energy anymore. And I see you being strong. Okay. Um, something significant could be happening in autumn. Something is coming towards you. Um, maybe some information, maybe an event. But I see um, some type of harvest. It's something that you're bringing into fruition. All right. And your spirit guides are here at the bottom of the deck to assist you. Okay. When it is time to have this breakthrough, epiphany, or find out exactly what this is. Because I feel like this is going to be some sort of wish fulfillment. That's going to require you to take some action or somebody to take some action toward you. All right, Virgo. Let's see what else. Okay, anything else for it that you want to bring out for Virgo with this self-worth, lack, and autumn harvest time? Spirit wants to remind you to remember that you've been through a huge awakening phase in your life. Remember that you have elevated past these low-level vibrations and people trying to suck you in, drain your energy. Spirit is saying don't forget to use your intuition, okay? There's a lot of things that you've overcame that is still in your energy, you know, asking for your attention, Things that you may be considering entertaining and Spirit is saying no, okay? Your season of lack is over and autumn is going to be a harvest time when you see the proof of that, okay? Thoughts and isolation. So you could be in hermit mode right now just thinking to yourself, trying to figure out some things, all right? You're enjoying the time alone because you feel like you have some things you need to get together. 
Um, you're trying to get these people out of your energy that are draining you and making you tired and wore out, you know, feeling fatigue and not really feeling like doing much. All right, so I see that here. You're trying to stay away from those people and you're using your intuition, okay? I'm getting that your intuition is very strong right now, especially since you had that awakening. Spirit wants to remind you of that and he wants to remind you to use it, okay? Because you have something coming towards you that's going to require you to be grounded. It's going to be, require you to not be emotional and it's going to be an emotional situation, okay? So let's get into your reading a little bit deeper. All right, Virgo, so it's been a while since we used these cards, my lovies. And if you're new to this channel, um, these are the cards I call my juicy cards. These have a lot of messages that I intuitively wrote down on these different cards. And they tend to come out explaining situations and warning you of certain things that may be coming towards you or surrounding you, okay? So let's dive into these little juicy cards and see what the message might be. See what these cards can tell us about this situation. Spirit, give Virgo clear messages about this situation. Um, there could be somebody talking bad about you or talking negatively about you. Okay, this could be somebody attached to this person that's in your energy thinking about coming back. This says sex with you is better. I miss you. So there's somebody that's missing um, <laughs> your intimate moments. <laughs> They miss it the way you throw it down, Virgo. Okay, look, too many red flags, fraud. So it's somebody in your energy that is a fake, a phony. They could be definitely talking about this person that misses you, that intends on coming back to revisit. Um, you could feel like this person gave you too many red flags. You felt like this person was a, a fraud, a liar. You know, you met the representative and then like a couple weeks down the line, this real person came out and you saw how reckless and irresponsible and immature this person could be. Okay, and that's just not something that you wanted to invest in. Right now, look, it says you're healing from toxicity and this person coming towards you um, is just going to trigger you. Okay, so it's, it's going to call for you to be mature and understand where you are and what you're not willing to sacrifice. Okay, so healing from toxicity, prayer, chakra alignment and meditation. These could be things that you're practicing to make sure you stay grounded and stay afloat with what, which, with what you need to do. Okay, this is how you're honoring yourself. Okay. This person is somebody in your energy is saying, I don't care if I already have someone, I still want sex with you. So this is somebody that you're avoiding, Virgo. This is somebody that you feel like is a bit reckless. You like this person, but you feel like this person has a few issues that they need to work out. Okay, wow. And it happens, okay. But yeah, somebody's grandma angel is or grandpa angels around them, um, giving them witness wisdom and guidance all right and then somebody is coming towards you that wants you to know that they ended their relationship for good this time all right so there's somebody that really did put an end to their situation i'm feeling like this person didn't really have a choice yeah this person also could have been healing from toxicity okay so you both have been healing this person is healing or have healed from a lot of toxicity that's in their life and they also stalk you online this car is just sitting there so yeah, Virgo. Mm -hmm. I, I feel this energy coming towards you. So I want to. I'm, I'm, I want to see. You know, I can feel every time I'm meditating on your energy, asking what I should read for you. I feel this. All right. So get ready. It's gonna be something. Somebody. You're gonna be surprised. All right. So let's put this over here. We're gonna put these cards over here. I'm probably gonna use them in the thumbnail or something like that. Yeah, but I mean, the good part about it is both of you are healing from toxicity and you're going to be able to use your intuition to figure out exactly which person this is, okay? Just use the information that we have here. Let's see if I can get a little bit more. Y'all know I have description cards. So let's see if I can use the description cards and see what comes out. If I can find them. Okay, hold on, Virgo. Let's see if we can get some descriptions. All right. All right, I got them. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Spirit, can you tell Virgo a little bit more about this person that's coming toward them? Help them distinguish who this is or what, and what this energy is coming toward them. Can you tell my Virgos a little bit more about what's coming toward them? What is this person like? Who is this person? What do they look like? What does this person look like coming toward Virgo? All right, Virgo. So it's a lot of cards. So this person has a beautiful smile. 
Somebody could have almond eyes. Somebody could be loving and kind. A divine masculine. Okay, but I'm getting that he was dealing with somebody toxic. If this is your divine masculine coming back. Somebody as cool as a breeze. Somebody could have had crutches recently. Somebody has natural hair and they keep a nice haircut. Somebody could have purple or pink hair. <laughs> okay, I like the purple hair. I had purple hair before. Undercover brother tendencies. So somebody could um, be a little bit bisexual or bisexual. Somebody has curly hair. Somebody is younger between the age of 18 and 25. Somebody is single now, finally. Somebody is short. There's divine feminine here. So this is divine feminine and divine masculine energy. Um, and then cinnamon brown skin. Ooh, that sounds good. Somebody is, was very stingy and greedy. And then somebody is very dark skin. Last but not least, somebody has red hair. All right, Virgo. So hopefully that helped some of you. <laughs> that wasn't a lot that time. I mean, it was a lot, but it wasn't. So let's see. It was the crutches that got me. It my own crutches. Causing havoc. <laughs> All right, Virgo. Let's see what else wants to come out. What else can Virgo... What else does Virgo need to know about what's coming toward them? Show us more about this situation. What's going on in Virgo's energy? What's causing Virgo to be isolated? Let's see. So we have love call, sabotage, and then sudden change. All right, so I feel like recently or with somebody that's in your energy um, that is planning on calling you and re reaching out to express that they're thinking about you, I feel like this is somebody that um, you had to cut off because they sabotaged this relationship or this connection. Whatever way you were connected with this person, I feel like that they sabotaged it. Or there was some type of separation here, okay? Um, some type of silent treatment and abandonment. So this is somebody who could have ghosted you. And then with lightning and this shocked you. It was a sudden change, shocking, shocking news, okay? Uh, upheaval and transformation. So this completely changed the dynamics of everything. Of course, you probably, you, you know, this stopped everything because you saw that this person was fraud. Like you felt like this person was gaslighting you. You know, just trying to lead you on and see how fast they can get what they want. So what's this love call here, Spirit? What's this love call about? Show Virgo what they need to see about this love call. Addiction, codependency, obsession. So somebody could be obsessed with you. Somebody could be controlling and have a block or a restraint. Maybe they have mental blockage. Maybe they want to call you, but they are tied up right now with something. Let's see what else. Ooh, engagement ring. So somebody could be in a partnership already or in a union. Show me X. Yeah, this person was wearing a mask and the, it, this came out in reverse. So I feel like you discovered that this person was lying, not showing their true feelings and gaslighting you. I felt that energy here. Um, Self-indulgence. So that this was something that they were doing for their own, sec, um, I was about to say sexual pleasure, for their own self-pleasure. It was just leading you on to see if you would actually entertain them. Keys on a ring. You found out this person has other options. You found out this person wasn't loyal. You found out this person wasn't trustworthy or anything. Then you began to marry each other. Okay. This um, re It says relationships reflect our wounds. Introspection. So this person, dealing with this person and being triggered by their actions. Um, it caused you to see, you know, that there are some things that you may need to work on yourself. Um, I feel like this person was pretty much in and out. I feel like this kind of was triggering to you um, and made you think about some things that you may have experienced in the past. This is triggering you to chase someone and this is the energy that you didn't want to be a part of. So with this paradise card, happiness, expansion, joy, oneness, enjoying each other, I feel like this was the energy in the beginning. And then slowly but surely you started to see this person's true colors and how they really are. I feel like they were doing sex magic or something like that to reel you in and keep you locked in on them. All right, let's see what the tarot wants to say about this energy, Virgo. Show Virgo what they need to see. Spirit, angel, spirit guides, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Show Virgo, please. Clear messages. What is this? Okay, this X and mask and all of this. This person is, let's see. And why are they coming back? We got Queen of Wands energy, okay? 
fiery, hot, okay, sexy. Sometimes it represents the other woman. The Queen of Wands talks about setting out, setting your intentions and getting what you want. Being extremely desirable, somewhat irresistible, very fiery and passionate, especially in the bedroom, okay? Um, and this is the energy that is here right now. Also could be a Gemini, Libra, or Sagittarius. I mean, a, what am I saying? <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, feminine energy could be. Or this could just be you determined, fiery, and not taking no for an answer. Show me more spirit about this Queen of Wands energy. I feel like you found out about another woman. Yeah, this is you finding out, getting clarity, no longer seeking, understanding, and getting the answers you need. So you found out about another woman or that somebody was cheating with someone else. Yeah. And this caused you to walk away from this person. Some of you could have also found out that you are the other woman. You know, that this person led you to believe that they were single, but they're not. And you realize that this is a missed opportunity with this four of cups energy pouring out the cups. Um, just focused on your other options and feeling like you don't really want this offer, not really happy with it. Little bored with the same old, same old energy, this irresponsible type energy that runs, rips and runs or whatever. Not really stable and secure like you need, okay? And somebody says something and I totally agree. It takes a very special man or woman to be a partner to a Virgo, you know? You have to, you have to be able to be grounded at least somewhat enough so we can meet you halfway. I mean, some of this stuff is crazy. <laughs> but people are going to be people and this is how we learn what is for us and what is not, you know, on a positive note. But anyway, right now, you are guarded. Um, you're standing your ground and being confident moving on with this Nine of Wands energy. It's talking about almost the completion, the end of a certain cycle or time in your life certain mood or situation that you're going through um but you're almost at the end of that and there is definitely light here the wheel is turning in your favor as we speak okay and things are about to start getting a lot better for you since you release this energy okay you feel like the wounded warrior you feel like you've been through a lot okay this did pierce your heart you know you didn't break your heart but it hurts your feelings because you're tired of having to release people that you really really like or you feel a strong chemistry with you're trying to figure out why you, like, you're tired of kissing frogs, basically. We got the Queen of Wands energy here. Somebody could be dealing with, uh, I mean, Queen of Pentacles energy here. Somebody could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Virgo, this could be you. Um, coming to a realization that you need to be strong and just move forward, steady, holding on to your pinnacle, deciding not to invest in this situation, um, waiting on the right person for you to give your pinnacle to and fully invest in, waiting on your husband, or your wife, okay, and a happily ever after, all right? So I feel like you're safe. You're holding back from investing in people right now. I feel like you're holding back from dating. You're investing in yourself right now, continuously building your empire and focusing on your goals, all right, until the right person comes in. And a lot of you Virgos feel like, I'll know. You know, my intuition will tell me and I'll know, all right? So I feel that. Okay, Virgo, so that's just that on that, Okay. Let's get one of these romance angel cards. Well, I got two. Oh, okay. So Virgo, look, it says, let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others and stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay. So that's the energy right now. We're going to try to tap in maybe a little later on and see um, what's happening. But otherwise, if you want to look into your situation or you want to see more about your own personal story, I am still doing personal readings, loveys. I'll be happy to do your reading for you. Just email me at closer, the number two, my destiny, the number one at gmail.com. And I will go ahead and book you for your personal reading. Um, and I will see you sooner than later, Virgo. I love you, love you, love you to life, loves. And I will um, talk to you then. Bye, my love.